So Republicans ended up releasing some statements uh, praising President Trump's speech, praising the fact that he's turning his attention to tax reform. This is something that is very unifying. So that was on one aspect. The other aspect, there were critics who thought this was way too soon, uh, given all of the destruction and devastation that we've seen coming out of Texas, is now also Louisiana. Uh, of course, President Trump ended up visiting Texas yesterday. He's headed back there on Saturday, but the split screen image of President Trump touting tax reform and then seeing all the other images that were coming from Texas was very jarring to some. House Speaker Paul Ryan was in the Seattle area just a week ago in Snohomish County at Boeing talking about the GOP tax reform proposal. How likely, given the tight timeline next month and everything that has to be accomplished before the end of the year, how likely is tax reform on the agenda in Congress. It's going to be difficult. Now, in the Republicans' favor, they control Congress, they control the White House, and when you control the House of Representatives like Paul Ryan does, you can be normally be able to get the 217 or 218 votes needed to pass something. But on the, the disfavor side, you have the, the fact that Republicans are still fundamentally divided. Even President Trump's own speech today really wasn't a plan. It was just principles, uh, and principles that all Republicans share. But when you get to the nitty-gritty part of legislation, the trade-offs, the complicating things when it comes to the tax system, uh, that uh, is much, much more difficult than just laying out some broad principles. And so Republicans are divided, whether they should end up working with Democrats or not, whether they should re uh, pursue tax reform or just simple tax cuts. And so they have a lot of work to do even to get out of the gate on this.